Hey, so it's Friday, uh, August 16th, and I am on the, well, let's see, there's Deception Trails. I'm not going to go quite that far. That's a little further than I want to go today. Uh, but I am on the Deception Creek Trail off the Stevens Pass, or no, sorry, uh, Highway 2, uh, Northern Cascades, uh, Snoqualmie Baker National Forest area. Just out for a little solo day hike. Uh, I was going to go with some other people, but couldn't make it at the last minute, so well, I'm still going to go. Kind of interesting, so it was, oh, nice little hill to climb right away here. So there's Deception Creek down there. I don't know if I've done videos of Deception Falls, which is on the other side of the highway from here. It's a little park on the side of the highway there. Neat little falls, little, almost literally right under the highway. Um... This is on the south side of Highway 2, and basically, let's see, so the it's an out and back, the WTA description calls it 11 miles round trip, I don't know if I'm going to make it that far today just because I got, it took me longer to get here than I had planned on, so it's kind of one of these, it's a Friday. I had to go basically through the Seattle area, although I went around and went through uh, Bellevue. Well, actually, I had to go through there anyways. Um, but so you kind of take the 405 around Seattle. But it's a major pain in the butt, no matter what. And traffic was just... So I would have had a choice of either going out really early this morning and missing the early morning traffic... But then coming back, probably during rush hour in the evening, which can take hours at times, especially on a Friday, um, heading south. So what I thought I would do is I would left Olympia just after 9 o'clock. I just had to stop for gas, thinking I would miss the bulk of the traffic, which I did, though I still ran into more than I anticipated. And then... Figured I'll be up here from the afternoon. I was hoping to get here before noon. It's about 12.45 now. So instead of about just under three hour drive, it was about a three and a half hour drive to get up here. Um, so I figure I'm gonna do some hiking. About six hours worth of hiking. And then getting back. By the time I get into Seattle, we're talking back down to that area, uh, almost 9 o'clock. So I should miss the nighttime traffic. Ooh, what is that? Some red berries down there. Kind of cool. Might have to get a picture of those. Some more up here. So, so yeah. So we'll see. I mean, this hike is supposed to have a lot of great stuff following the creek, uh, a log bridge to cross, some waterfalls, flowers, big old growth forest um, this area has been heavily logged but there's supposed to be a little bit of old growth yet so the clouds it was a heavy layer of clouds when I left Olympia this morning uh, but I got time I got to Monroe for a pit stop the clouds were breaking up and I've got some really nice sunshine here right now so I've got a couple things I want to get pictures of here so I will check in a little bit later Like right away here, we've got this little carved stairs and then wood log bridge. In hot weather, this would be a great spot to uh, dip your toes in a little bit. So I just ran into a couple of ladies that were taking some pictures on their way out here. They, I didn't see any cars at the trailhead, so they must have parked. I mean, it's not that far, maybe another half mile. Um, to the highway and there's Deception Falls which I've been at a few times it's always a nice little stop on the way through this area uh, so. Ooh, this is nice I'm 
have to get some pictures of this. I'll be back. All right, made it through there. Um, not too bad. A few blueberries over here. I think they're blueberries. I keep forgetting how to tell the blueberries from the huckleberries. The leaves are very similar. One's more rounded, one's more pointed. And I'm forgetting which is which. Um, lots of bushes, very few berries. Had one thimbleberry earlier. Oh, here's some blueberries. Um, so I think these are blueberries. And they look more rounded leaf. So I'm going to go with that until I figure out otherwise. There's a few more over here. Um, I don't know. I think I'm a little late in the season. I've been in this area before in mid-July and had a lot of berries. Um, but it can vary just depending on weather and stuff. So... Good stuff. Not enough to worth collecting, although I did bring an extra bag just in case. I don't know. I'm kind of not feeling it today. Well, in general, I've been having that feeling a lot lately with hiking. Just not that I don't enjoy it now that I'm out here. I'm, I'm like being out here. Part of me, I don't know, I was tempted to turn around at one point before I even got to the trail. It's kind of, I think part of it is one of the things I used to talk about with uh, when I was looking into health coaching was the cars theory where you've got your four tires, career, activity, relationships, and spirit. And... If one of those tires is a little flat, you're just not going to be able to go where you want to go on that road to better health. And my career tire is definitely flat and out of whack lately, out of alignment. And I'm trying to fix it. And I know it's having an impact on other things that I do, the way I feel. So being out here should help that, but it's still it's like that it's like a cloud looming over everything else, I guess. Ah, cobwebs. Oh, cobwebs all over the place. Um so I don't know. Part of me would like wishes I had just brought my hammock. I'm gone in a little ways. Maybe found a place by the creek to set up my hammock and just pass out for a while. I could still do that. I could find a place to sit. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to go. I want to get to three miles. I'll see. I'm at about coming up on a mile and a half. So I should probably wrap this up because otherwise the voiceover is going to hit. Um, and see how I'm doing. See how I'm feeling. Maybe by the time I get out there, I'll be feeling it more. The bears don't hurt. Um... So we'll see. We'll catch up in a bit. So it's been a pretty busy trail for a Friday. I ran into four different couples on the way out, on their way out, on the way in. So I read about in the trail description, because the, the road gets pretty bad the last, I don't know, maybe quarter mile, not even that. It's up a sh short, steep hill with some deep ruts. Um, Jeep had no problem with it, but it talks about other people parking further down by the railroad trestle I went under and we go get a picture of that on the way out um, and then just walking that extra little bit up I don't recall seeing any cars there though there was a big uh, construction vehicle they're doing some repairs on the road it looked like so maybe I was just paying attention to what I was driving and not seeing the cars I don't know but all four of them basically parked further down the road than where I was now that is interesting So that's Devil's Club, and it's got a bunch of berries on it. I might have to get some picture of that. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that. They almost look like pomegranate seeds. It's kind of funky. I don't know that they're edible, though. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of mushrooms that was in the description. Um, 
I mean, if I stopped and take all the pictures, pictures of all the different mushrooms I'm seeing, it's like I probably would still be in the first mile. So uh, I'll, I'll be showing the buttons I did take pictures. I'll do a slideshow at the end. But occasional plane, small plane overhead. I'm a little further from the water now. I can barely hear it off that direction. There's more mushrooms. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice day out, peaceful. So at about three miles in, there's another bridge crossing. It's supposed to be some really good huckleberries. Good area for huckleberries if there's any left. So I think I'm going to make that my turnaround point. Stop and have something to eat. Maybe collect some berries bring home for pancakes tomorrow morning. We'll see. So I'm at about three and a quarter miles in. And I found one of the uh, campsite areas. It's kind of right on the creek. So there's access to the water there. And that way, there's a fire ring. We're still below 3,500 feet, I think is the, you know, 40, I think 4,000 feet is the cutoff for having a fire. It's a nice little area. Some mushrooms. So many mushrooms. Um, so there's room for a couple of tents here. I'm trying to see if there's a possible spot for a hammock there. And uh, maybe... I suppose Bonnie could go there with those skinny trees. I they wouldn't hold me up, but possibly there. Oh, look, somebody left some cordage hanging here. Uh, I suppose I could leave that there. Um, so possible for a couple of hammocks. Definitely room for a few tents. Some more spots over here. Another fire ring. Not really anything for hammocks on this side. Um, maybe right there, but it's just those trees are pretty big to get the straps around. So it might be possible to have a little group come out and backpack out here. So I wonder if this is going off to an area where they probably use for latrine area. This would be a nice little one. It's, and then you could come in here, set up, and then keep hiking for a while and come back. So I'm going to go a little bit further. It's almost 3.30. Um, let's see, might be an easier way to get to the water. No, not really. Um, for a little bit further, I might maybe hit three and a half miles and then turn around or something. Just see what else is up here a little ways. Lens flare. Alright, I'll be back again in a little bit. So to kind of show how kind of out of it I am in regards to hiking right now, forgot my backup battery. I forgot to download the map for the area. Um, it's not even like I thought I had it because I haven't really done any hiking in this area for a while other than just Deception Falls, which really doesn't need a map. Sorry, blueberry. Easily distracted. Squirrel. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of, I mean, I'm definitely glad I came out. No denying that. I just don't have that sense of urgency to get out like I had. I don't know. Something to think about, I guess. But I am enjoying this. This is, uh, this trail is not a, I guess what we would call a destination hike. There's not like some big thing to get to. No summit. There's a few little waterfalls here and there. Crossings with neat log bridges. Lots of really, sorry, I gotta see if I can get that. 
really cool mushrooms. So many mushrooms. I really need to learn about edible mushrooms at one point. Um, this is just a nice hike to just enjoy being out here on. So I guess in a way, this is almost the perfect hike for what I'm feeling right now. I'll go up a little bit further. It sounds like I think there's another crossing up here. I'm gonna kick back, relax. I ate half my sandwich already, just walking. Maybe get up here, sit down for a few minutes and eat the rest. Wash my hands, I got berry stains all over my fingers. I think getting back should be pretty quick. I don't really plan on doing any berry picking on the way back. I think I have enough for breakfast and a little bit of a snack tomorrow. Um, I'm not concerned about that, you know, I'm at about three and a half miles. I can do that getting out of here in less than two hours. So that should put me at before six o'clock, so depending on how long I sit up here. All right, Ooh, another cool, look at that one. So many mushrooms or fungus or whatever you want to call them all. All right. Well, it looks like I might be getting up to this waterfalls, rapids kind of thing up here. So I'm going to go kick back, relax up here for a little bit, and I will catch up to you in a bit. There's the waterfall. So there's this rapids area here, not much, but then you get off the trail a little bit, and there's that. No place to safely get down to the water at all, so I'm just going to find a spot sit up here for a little bit before turning around.
So, with all this time to myself, you'd think I'd get some productive thinking done or something. But no. My mind tends to just kind of go blank and wander a little bit here and there. The kind of things I do think about, though, how do bears eat berries? I mean, they don't, you know, because I've been picking berries. Uh, black, blackberries near my home yesterday and the huckleberries here on the trail today. And, sorry, I got a big rock. I got to get down here. Um, you know, I'm using my fingers. I'm assuming the bears use, like, their tongues. But do they just, like, strip the whole branch, like, leaves and everything? Because I don't ever see, I mean, not that I've, I think I've been around an area where the bears would be feeding, but you would think you'd see evidence of that. Or are they able to be delicate enough to just get the berries? I don't know. If you know, uh, I guess I'll do some research, but if you know, leave something in the comments, because now I'm kind of curious. Yeah, that's the kind of weird things that go through my head when I'm hiking. Oh well. All right, so I'm almost back to the car or the Jeep. The Jeep. Um, cobwebs. Besides mushrooms, there's like tons of cobwebs on this trail. Anyway, um, let's see. Gonna be just shy of seven miles in about five hours. Nice leisurely pace, enjoying just uh, picking berries, checking out the ferns and the moss. Just so green in this area, it's just incredible. The sound of the water in the background. Very enjoyable. Definitely want to come back, do some backpacking, uh, come up, maybe hike to that first campsite area. I think there's some further on, but hit that first one and then just set up, do a little hiking from there, come back, and then an easy three mile hike to get out again. Um, yeah, I'll have to do that. So maybe even like October would be a good time before it gets too cold. So thanks a lot for hanging out on YouTube. Go ahead and uh, please hit subscribe, uh, like, and stuff like that. Hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of new videos. Or head over to my website, positively-healthy.com. I post links to the, all the videos there, of course, but also things like recipes, general health and wellness stuff, um, advocacy stuff, and just other... Oh, and I've, I've started putting some things on um, that I, of gear that I use. Um, I don't know if I... Well, I guess recommendations, because I, rec I wouldn't post it that I'm using it if I wouldn't recommend it. And just my thoughts on some of the stuff. Not necessarily specific brands or anything like that. But just a, a certain post a glimpse into some of the gear that I actually use. So check that out. As far as a trailhead report, um, technically there isn't one. There is no facilities at this trailhead. There is the closest thing back down. So it's like maybe, I don't know, three quarter of a mile. Once you get back on the highway and then across the highway is the Deception Falls parking lot. And there is facilities there, vault toilets. Um, I haven't been in there for a while, so I can't give you a rating. Otherwise, you're looking at heading back into Skykomish about 10 miles to the west. So no real trailhead report for this one. <coughs> All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you guys had some fun, enjoyed things. So many mushrooms. Anyway, thanks a lot. We'll see you on the trail next time.
so many mushrooms. Sorry. <laughs> 